So let's do another problem here, uh, a football problem. Let's say you have a kickoff return. So in a kickoff return, you have the receiver catches the ball and starts running downfield. And they're running downfield at 1.81 meters per second. And then you have one of the defenders running this way. And this defender is running at an angle of 45 degrees and running with a velocity of 1.75 meters per second. So I want to know from the perspective of this player right here, from the receiver, what's the closing velocity, magnitude, and direction? In other words, what does it look like you know, this, this player is really going at a 45 degree angle, but what does it look like to the other player and how fast does it look like they're closing? Okay, so we look at this problem and we say, well, okay, so this velocity right here is 1.8 meters per second J. This velocity up here is going to be 1.75 meters per second uh, sine 45 degrees I and one point and then a negative 1.75 meters per second cosine 45 degrees J. So that's going to be uh, 1.24 meters per second I minus 1.24 meters per second J. Okay. Now if I have a coordinate system moving this way, then this player looks like they're not moving. So from his perspective, uh, we're adding, uh, 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 so in other words, it, it's as if this, the coordinate is moving this way, so this is, this is as if it's coming an extra 1.81 meters per second. This is like an, it's like an extra 1.81 meters per second in that direction. So the total relative velocity, so the total relative velocity is going to be 1.24 meters per second I minus 3.05 meters per second J. So it looks like it's coming over this way and then down that way. Okay, and so an angle phi from from down 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 the field to 1.24 meters per second, 3.05 meters per second, and so that means that the magnitude of this relative velocity is going to be the square root of 1.24 meters per second squared plus 3.05 meters per second squared. So the magnitude of the relative velocity is going to be a whopping 3.29 meters per second. So this is a very large velocity in which they're closing. The angle phi, okay, will be the arctangent of 1.24 meters per second over 3.05 meters per second. So that turns out to be 22.1 degrees. So to the receiver, it looks like that uh, this person's closing at 22.1 degrees and they're moving with a velocity of 3.29 meters per second. Now this is why uh, a lot of injuries happen in kickoff returns because you have the players moving rather quickly and they're moving directly towards each other. In a normal football scenario, you'll have the receiver running and, re and the defender running up from behind, and so that means the relative velocity is less, and so the tackle is going to be less violent. Uh, you get these near head-on collisions here, because even though the, the receiver may be not moving at 22 degrees, uh, it looks like it to the, to the receiver. Uh, so uh, even though the even though the, the the person tackling them is not, it looks like it, and so you, you end up with these very high relative velocities, and so uh, that that and then the you also end up with very very head-on looking collisions, which uh, then actually give a shock to the head 
of the receiver and possibility of a concussion. So this is why kickoff returns uh, in particular tend to have very high rates of injury.